<laughs> I suppose moving very fast the back, uh, with a neck snapping backflip makes it very difficult to discern the character if you don't have the name visible in your line of sight at that exact moment. Oh, he missed me somehow. to do was kill all of the freaking boxes and I still couldn't hit them from up here. I didn't even bother to play Fulton weapons though. Shit, 26. Right, let's not get crit by a Sinnoh because apparently they do the more than 1200 damage. this morning slash afternoon going for you. Because my, my hue cast is normally blue and white and this height. But then again, hue casts are usually tall anyways. Hey, George. It's still flashing. I got no idea why it's doing that. It doesn't even show up on screen when I have my camera on. Yeah, George, you should be happy. This is the most Verlix has ever talked about work ever. He was, he was at the bottom of the ramp when I shot him, so when the fuck did he get behind me, and how was I hitting him behind me? I'm confused at that, transi that, that transition into this fight. There you are. This is weird. I swear I was shooting a Sinoa down the bottom of the ramp. And then he just appeared behind me somehow. I was using a needle, which is even, even more confusing, because they those things can't hit shit in any direction except in front of you. Oh well. Uh, fucking extended range confusion traps. Fucking hit me. Oh my god, he just juked me. I just got fucking smooth criminal by a goddamn squid. What's this game coming to? Where's the fourth one? What are you doing over there? No, no, stay away from me. Hit your friends. This 
is a bad idea. And somehow it worked out. I'm laughing on the inside. Only because I'm disappointed in myself for not making that joke first. Nor even thinking about it. That's kind of disturbing, Verilix. Not gonna lie. Only a handful of people are allowed inside my... Well, inside. I've apparently just forced his way in, though, so... I suppose it's not that hard to break in. Hello, Shushu. Welcome to my short stream before I go to work. So I woke up when my alarm went off at 9, and then I just kind of laid in bed for another 40 minutes after that, thinking, huh, do I really want to get up today? I entered that fairly quickly, though. Boots in? Ooh. Sounds good. I woke up. And then I made a big old friggin' pot of spaghetti. I bought a new pot along with a new pan so I could fry eggs easier. And the pot I haven't used yet, so I wanted to just boil a bunch of spaghetti. And then while I was making the spaghetti, I was like, you know what? I want some cheese. So I opened my bag of cheese. Uh, vegan cheese made with, what is it? Uh, fucking... Cashew milk? Cashew butter? Something like that? Cashew fat? And I'm not trying to say, ear vegan stuff. No. I can't have dairy stuff. It's very disappointing. So I found a decent alternative that I can actually stand without vomiting. But yeah, I opened the bag. <laughs> and as I went on this tangent, I uh, started dumping the bag in, because I just want a little cheese, just a little bit, right? So I dumped the entire fucking bag in by accident, because it's all clustered together in a giant fucking ball. So now I have more cheese than spaghetti in my spaghetti. But honestly, yeah, no, uh, the, uh, the marinara sauce I have, it actually goes really, really good with that cheese. So the fact that it's all cheese and barely any spaghetti, yeah, it's cheese and spaghetti with a little bit of marinara. Just a little bit. I had an open thing of marinara already, so it was just like half used. So, yeah. It still tastes good. Yeah, well, it tasted good right out of the pan, or right out of the pot. I'm gonna have to see how it tastes as leftovers when I get home tonight. But I like made two, what, two, two boxes of spaghetti? No, a box and a half. One of the boxes is also open. Ow. So. I made enough for the next couple of days, which is why I ate half of it for breakfast, and I'm eating the other half when I get home from work tonight. Because that's balanced. <laughs> and I don't know how to portion my food very well. Alright, they jumped. But yeah, accidentally making good good pasta. I'll take it. Normally I just boil the frick out of Oh, really? I thought it was outside of that. Usually I just boil the frick out of some noodles and throw a little bit of sauce on it. And that's how I have it. Although I haven't been able to find noodles that I enjoy nearly as much as I used to. I used to buy these like really good whole wheat noodles that tasted fantastic, even without sauce and stuff. And I just have not been able to find a decent replacement. The store I'm shopping at now doesn't have whole wheat noodles. Right now I'm using, uh, what is it, pick chi? Chickpea? Chick 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 chickpea noodles. Whatever the heck that's supposed to mean. Plus protein!
One day I will run too far and get hit by this mofo. Today's not that day. <clears throat> oh look, it's the room of indefinite poison for 30 seconds. Or however long the poison lasts. Nice shot. Now if only I had a rifle range psycho gun here. Chicken burger and fries, nice. I have a bunch of chicken that I have like cut up, but I've just been too lazy to grind it off. Oh, I have it ready to be ground up because I want to make some uh, some chicken burgers myself again. And then I also have like a bunch of uh, potatoes I bought. So when I moved to this house that I'm living at now, the the store I was going to had a good selection of potatoes, like russet, gold, red. Brown dirt potatoes, ground potatoes, sky potatoes, cloud potatoes, uh, potatoes you get by just digging your hand into the toilet. Good, good selection of potatoes. And then they stopped having them all. And I'm like, what the hell? I literally shopped at the store for two weeks, and then all of a sudden the potatoes are all gone. I was very disappointed. But one of the potatoes have come back. So now I have potatoes again, and I plan on making them into fries. I bought a freaking whole ass machine to cut the freaking potatoes into fry shapes, and I have not been able to use it. Small yellow ones, uh, uh, small yellow round ones, I have not been able to make good fries with those. I'm finding like the russet are the best so far, as per what the internet instructed, and th through my own testing. But yeah. I actually had a really weird thing for fries when I first moved here. <laughs> and actually, right before I moved to this house. I don't know, I just got a really bad craving for french fries. Just like my high school days where I had a french fry craving where I had french fries every day for lunch for four years. And then I left high school and I never had french fries again because I don't go to like fast food restaurants. Alright, is that far enough? How far do I have to go in to get cucked? That's how far I have to go in to get cooked. Oh good, he didn't do the thing. Oh, I got him. Didn't actually expect that to work first try on Sinnoh. I mean, they're not completely immune to it, it just doesn't work half the time. Wait, I shouldn't have to worry about Morphos anymore. Should. Gonna keep my head turned. Let's see. Jump. Jump. Jump around, jump around. There you go. Alright, then it should be the uh, domes and this doggo. Charge me. Yep, wrong side. Squids! I dare not, ooh. I dare not look at the center of the arena for maybe a Morpho shell spawn upon me that I have missed upon my hindsight. Or you know what, it's too hard to keep camera turned, fudge it, let's go. That was not Masada. That's cash money. Dude, it got really freaking windy here. I came home from work and both my trash cans were toppled. They're by my front door around a corner. The wind literally knocked them over. They like, oh God, they got vacuum sucked straight off of my porch. And I can hear the wind now just violently raking the leaves outside. It's scary, it's like a horror show. Leaves flowing in the wind. Let's see if I can do this one correctly. 
Nope. Oh no, it's fucking holy shit, it's snowing out. What the fuck? That wasn't supposed to be happening till next week. Dude, what the fuck? I just peeked out my window. And there's just a fuck ton of blizzard. I, there's a white wall of snow outside. <laughs> oh, Embrace him. Embrace the yes. Yes. I do gotta get a hell laser with hit. Just so I can feel better, even though I don't need it. Embrace Gion. Dude, holy shit, it's been... I thought it was just the wind, because I wasn't hearing that noise until I began streaming, and it was, I, was, I was staring outside, and there was nothing going on. It literally just started snowing, right, probably around the time I started streaming. And the ground is completely white. This is a heavy snow, what the fuck? Dude, this is not going to be a fun drive to work. <laughs> People already don't know how to drive in the snow. People already don't know how to drive without the snow. The people I always end up getting stuck behind. The speed limit's 70 on my way to work on the highway I take. They're driving 50 or less. Every time, guaranteed. So I'm almost always late for work if I didn't leave 10 minutes early. Ten minutes earlier than I needed to. Oh, what a fucking great thing. I didn't see any stupid uh, snow plows out plowing or getting ready for the frickin' snow. It was gonna be an annoying drive. My car is only front wheel drive, so I don't have any snow control unless I'm just good at driving. I don't have a choice, I have to be good. Otherwise, you guys will never hear from me again. Just know that if I stop streaming, it's not because I hate you. It's because I hate snow. And snow hates me. And my car doesn't have snow tires. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I did... If something ever seriously did happen to me and I end up like in a hospital or something with no way of contacting anyone, how would I tell you guys? Because I wouldn't have like a phone... And I doubt my parents know how to get to my Discord, and I doubt my younger brother knows how to get to my Discord. I can't rely on anyone older than me in my family to do any of this shit. I'd be fucked. You guys would be just like clueless as to where the hell I went. I don't know why I picked this up. I don't need it. I don't know why I have that. I don't need it. Well, I mean, I used it, but didn't need it. Shift. With a tennis racket, shoes in a Saint Bernard. What the hell is the tennis racket for? Oh, a tennis racket shoes. Okay, I I read those as separate things. <laughs> I don't know why. There's no comma there. Grammar is important, people. Oh, dude, how the fuck is my... Well, I don't have to... I don't have to worry about snow removal. I, I live in a place where I pay for snow removal. That's not my charge mix. I got one. I don't have any tennis rackets here, unfortunately, George, so I can't make shoes out of them. I don't go outside the house, except for like work in stores. No fun stuff, man. I'm not allowed to have fun at, at, at the public places here. I'm getting good at just standing thing and then letting it hit me. Oh, 
Yeah, this racket shoes in a stamper nut. Why would you come to Wisconsin and just shoes in the middle of the snowstorm, man? You need boots. Don't forget your long johns. Jesus, they're getting faster, guys. They found me. And now they can't follow me. All right, uh, this one faster than expected. I might actually get, be able to get three runs in if this goes as well as this ran one. And this means I can add more statistics. So this drop anything rate on this boss is supposed to be 70%. It's 50-50 right now. Ever since I started keeping track, I've gotten more drops. I just got really seriously unlucky with 12, 12 fights in a row with no drops. Unbelievable. All right, Gladius, how many percent you got? Nothing. Okay, you're good. I was scared it was going to have like 90% hit or something again. That's not the weapons. The weapons are away from each other, or are they kitty corner? They're kitty corner. I'm just checking out these eight weapons because I can get something with good percents if they get questionable. But it seems really like these weapons are never questionable and they're never good. One ray gun, two ray gun. No stats on either ray gun. All right. Run one. <sighs> so I was told yesterday that it sounded like I had a cold. I got to work and I was thinking maybe I do have a cold because my throat started hurting. <clears throat> and I started coughing up a lot of phlegm. Kind of like I want to do right now. <clears throat> and I'm clearing my throat way, way more often. Like, there's something stuck in it constantly. But it's fine. I got rid of the sore throat. I had some tea and honey. So I gotta take my other pill! The snow stopped just as suddenly as it started. The weather literally just took a dump on us. <laughs> it was just like, oh no, I can't hold it anymore. Then boom, just giant pile of snow in front of us. And now the weather stopped snowing on us. Wonderful. What? Uh, hate damage ranges. Why do I always do that? It's either I go up, I always go down first and then kill them all, or I go stay up here and kill them all. And I don't need to do either. I kill half up here and half down here. A half and a half. So my wrist has actually been bothering me for the past couple days, I did mention this. And I finally figured out why. It was a very, very, very minor gout flare-up. I took some, uh, on a whim yesterday, I took some gout medication. The uh, stuff that gets rid of my gout, my, my uh, wrist just kind of got better almost overnight, magically. So apparently I had a gout flare-up. I'm guessing that 29 hour stream just did damage to my wrist. Or stressed it out enough to make me need to wrap it up. Bullshit, dude! You were targetable the entire time. I disagree, game. Alright, fine. Is it like Carpal Tunnel? Uh, not really. Gout is a buildup of uric acid in my bloodstream. So my blood is literally killing me because it's carrying something that turns in that crystallizes internally and in, in, by my joints, basically. 
And I tend to get a lot of flare-ups quite frequently. And I don't like it. It usually happens in my feet, but I've been having a lot of it in my wrist. <laughs> and it's just weird because I'm playing games a lot when it happens, so it's like very easily mistakable for like arthritis or carpal tunnel, I think. Like if it's not gout, then the gout medication shouldn't remove the pain. Because it's not a painkiller. It it's a thing that that uh, reduces uh, the crystals that build up by joints. I don't know. I mean, technically, I was diagnosed with arthritis, so maybe it's just a combination of the two. But if getting rid of one of the pains helps, I'm gonna keep doing that for for now. Eventually, when I can afford it, I'm gonna go see a doctor again about it. Oh yeah, no, it's very unpleasant. Like, it's very annoying when it happens in my wrist, though. Because I can't play games or anything. But it's like, it mostly happens in my feet. And when that happens, my feet usually swell up to, like, almost twice of their normal size. So I can't fit my feet into my shoe, I can't squeeze it in. I also can't walk because the pain is excruciating. If I had to compare it to something that I've never been afflicted with, a testicular torsion. <laughs> I've never had one, but my brother's had one, and my god, I've never seen that ga that man cry before. Then again, testicular torsion also, uh, <laughs> same level of pain as childbirth. So, he had the torsion for 26 hours. Somehow didn't, didn't lose his nuts. Specifically his left nut, which is the one that was being strangled. Yeah, I like to share that story overshare that story. People don't need to hear about it, but it's just like... It's something to talk about. And it's the internet. People like talking about cock and balls, right? You know, like that food from Britain or whatever. I don't know. I tried to make a joke there, and I think it fell flat. Flaccid? I don't think it was very good. And I've checked with my brother before. He doesn't mind. He doesn't mind me talking about his balls. A little embarrassing, yes, but he doesn't mind. He's got them surgically sewn to his scrotum now, so you don't need to worry. He won't get another torsion. He won't twist it. Not again. Nope, only what I've seen from movies. Mostly just Austin Powers. And, uh, what the, what's the one guy on YouTube I watch? The competitive food eater. Uh, Beard Meets Food. Yeah, uh, anything that he's eaten, that's about, that's my, uh, the extent of my limited knowledge on other country foods. Oh yeah, and anime. Whatever's in anime that's actually real. <laughs> I would actually, honestly, no joke, I would like to go someplace and learn how to cook more foods because I'm getting really sick of chicken and rice. And I don't know how to prepare tofu very well. My tofu always just like kind of tasteless, even after I season it. It goes against moderation settings? Damn, what kind of illegal food are you guys running? I want some of that. Oh boy. Shift to deep end, we're off at a very inappropriate moment. Thank you. That actually helped me. He didn't kill me, crit me, or anything. I don't know how I I didn't have D band on. And somehow I took less damage than if I had D band on. Unless I just got really lucky and he didn't get his 90% crit chance off on me. It's the same word as a slur. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why do you name your foods after slurs? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess uh, the name shows what it is. It was it was the it was the style at the time. And it just never got better.
Why does it have to be spotted, though? Like, why did they spot the dick? And then why did they make it into a cake? Who, who took a look at that food and said that? Yeah, that's what we're calling it. Because it looks phallic. It has a hole on top. <laughs> what, is it a funnel? <laughs> is that how it works? I've never seen the actual food, but I've seen a lot of it represented in, like, uh, in TVs and stuff. Uh, what was the most recent one? The Sherlock Holmes thing back from before 2015, 2017, something like that. Yeah, it takes, it takes a certain kind of generation of people to say, yep, yeah, we're naming this a spotted dick. I mean, I suppose it fits for me, though. I like talking about my six-foot dick. He's actually five-foot-eleven now. He's kind of shrinking in his old age. And, of course, I mean my father. His name is Richard. That's why I can talk about him like that. We're cool like that. get really confused about my six foot dick, it's fine. He confuses a lot of people. Get out of the way. Okay, good. One heavy attack, put him out of the way. I despawned him, no! Stop it. There we go. Just a meatball made with cow brains and other stuff. Huh. Interesting. Oh, they don't have a whole lot of health, do they? Not Megan? Okay, cool. Not Megan. How big is his Roberta? That big. Come on. Spawn, you freaking shino. Don't make it. No Megan, no Megan, no Megan. I'm playing this incredibly safe for no apparent reason. Guardian shield? Why did he have to have a guardian? I'm right here. Ah. Oh. Never mind, I'm just confused. On the Sinos Club. <laughs> the Sinos Club has 50% machine when teched up. There's 50% machines in this club. Love. Club is love. Club? Club is love. Oh god. No! And the Morphos too! <sighs> Fuck. I can fix this. Do I want to fix this? I'm going to get invuln. Yeah, back up, just in case I fuck up even harder. I fucked up even harder. Got one. Did I just... 
Did I just hear a Rafoli? I heard something that sounded extremely like Rafoli for no reason. Ooh. A laser, a repa, and a laser plus three. And yeah, they're all trash, you see. They're trash, you see. Sonica, I don't get it. Is that supposed to mean something to you? My pain funny? I mean, it's hysterical, but that's not the point. There's only that one specific trap in here. Oh no, there's another one. There's two traps, specifically in just like the... Uh, in those corners. Oh, and then I guess the three up here, but I don't count those. There's no reason to go over there. God damn, I turn that corner every time. Most of the time I remember, and then I still get stuck by this first one, even though I shouldn't be. Like, right here should be the safe spot, but I keep getting stuck in it anyways. These things are larger than I'd like to admit. I am so much almost out of TP already. What happened? Where did my life go? Rhetorical question, don't worry about it. That's what I ask myself at work every day. It's not like I don't mind my job, you guys know. I, I It's a pretty decent job, it's just not the job I want. Unfortunately, nothing can fuel my obsession with wanting to be a star. It's also the wrong gun. It's also the wrong gun. Or the wrong attack. It's also the wrong gun. It's also the wrong fluid. A stisser? What's a stisser? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make fun. I can only poke fun at grammar because it's hilarious to me. I know what you meant. I'm just bad at poking fun at things that are... Well, you, you know. You've watched the stream. I don't need to explain it. I've done enough over-explaining for one lifetime. So allow me to over-explain why I over-explain so much. You see, it all happened when I was a child. Why did it get super laggy when I hit the wall with the, with the camera? I don't understand this lag. Like, it's fine most of the time. I pointed it a couple of times the other day when it just got, like, really laggy for no reason. Apparently, when your camera hits a wall, it lags out. It's interesting. Ugh, but I understand OT definitely sucks. Believe me, my job, we're not supposed to have overtime. So when we have 15-hour days... And then we have another 10 hour day after that. We're not allowed overtime. Makes sense. Ah, fudge nuggets. Can't get range. Okay, turn the camera this way. So I'm just gonna. Not. There we go. I heard that Rafo again. Is that the Morphos? Is that the sound the Morphos makes? Weird. Never heard it like that before. 
just gonna kill these so I don't accidentally target them. Um, I could have swore his laser just shot at me. <laughs> What's going on? How is that almost attacking me? Killed him in hell. Easy. Oh fuck, that guy spawns instantly, huh? You want and bought Poké Shield? Nice, see you enjoying it, at least. Also, that took me down to 700 HP, so that does a lot more damage than I- oh fuck. Hold up. Is it Sinnoh in the distance I don't want to die to? Yeah, these guys spawn instantly and just on the floor. I don't like that. Experiencing the story all over again? There was a story to that game? Alright, you got 40 minutes and then I'm taking off. Not use a diamate. Why did I not use another diamate? Oh, I know why. I didn't think I was gonna get another diamate. But yeah, the Pokemon Sword and Shield. I honestly think that the beginning of the story makes the most sense out of all the other Pokemon games. If a Pokemon game can make sense, because all the other Pokemon games is, hey, you're ten years old. Here's a kid. Here's 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 a monster. Go fight. And in Sword and Shield, they actually turn it into a national event. It's like the coming of age ceremony. And I think that's really cool to actually have something like that going. I mean, the Sun and Sun and Moon had a similar thing where you're 10 years old. Now, go on a dangerous adventure and travel to all different fucking islands by yourself in the middle of a crime organization spree <laughs> and uh, don't die. But I think Sword and Shield does it the best, because they actually have people just, like, watching out for the kids the whole time. I just find it the most interesting that it's the most coherent story. You got the expansion passes? Nice. I haven't even bought those yet, because there should be no reason to buy them. They should be included in the game, but people love money too much. Especially Nintendo. Unless Nintendo offers them for free, I ain't buying them. And free means I don't have to pay a goddamn cent. I'm not talking about Nintendo Online gets it for free shit. Because you're still paying 80 bucks for a terrible service. Wow, I, it took, I would have actually killed him faster if I just shot him with mech guns. Chilling. Ooh, the grinder. The grinder. <clears throat> See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not clearing my throat because it feels like there's a bunch of phlegm in it. The more I talk, the more I feel my voice going, and now I'm actually just kind of forcing it. It feels really weird. I don't like it. Hopefully my mic can pick me up fairly well. I need to get something to drink really quick. Hey, look at that. All the snow that hit the ground is melted. 
Oh. Refreshed. <clears throat> Not really refreshed, just voice numbingly refreshing. No heavens, Punisher. Disappointment game. You're not even giving me the ooh, not even giving me the one in a hundred thousand. One in two hundred thousand. One in 130,000? I forget. Alright, my pre-estimate of being able to do this three times looking like it possibly is happening. As long as I don't fudge up. And I go fast. I still have no idea how this guy fucking cow bungered me from here. He literally jumped and like zoomed around the platform, which shouldn't be possible. There is a physical wall in front of him. If you jump straight into a wall, it just stops all momentum, but for some reason he rode the wall around and then progressed forward like he, there was nothing there. And it hit me and I was mad as hell. I'm not gonna take that shit anymore because that's a glitch. And I don't like glitches, especially when I'm not using them. I want to save those grinders for something useful. Why am I doing that? I don't need a Ryuger. I, I literally can't die here. Literally can't die. Not because he can't hurt me enough, but because I'm too good. At the game. Alright, Olga, give me your item. If I can just get this red box item, usually I tend to find the red box items more often when I'm when I'm looking for when I'm actually keeping track of them, and I'm keeping track of this one. I'm just keeping track of his drops in general. that it's like a pixel away or couple what the fuck did I lock onto One day, I plan on just standing exactly where that sword falls down, as I want it to penetrate into my character's model. So it's basically right where I go, just forward, a little bit out to, to the ring. Right, right here. We should go PGF hunting on a video? No, thank you. <laughs> I have characters I want to play on GameCube first. Where did my pen go? It's right here. All right, we got three items for yes and two for no. So ever since I started keeping track, I've been getting the, the actual item drops more often. That's funny. Because literally 12 hunts in a row, I got no drops. <laughs> so I was just questioning whether or not the, the thing was actually working. I went to the wrong two sets of boxes. Okay, by the teleporter and to the right. If you want to go PGF farming on Affinia, feel free to hunt for it with a different group. I don't want it. Not on Affinia anyways. I don't have any good items on Affinia. That's not bad. 55, 30, 55, 35, 40. Oh, and also, it's a Gladius, so I don't care. 
Good caliber? No caliber. Nothing. Alright, I got 34 minutes. Let's do another run. And then I gotta go to work. And hopefully I don't feel like shit when I get there. Because my voice already feels tired. So my fears of shit going wrong on Wednesday that I complained about Tuesday because I didn't want to go to work. Yeah. I'm trying to complain less and less about work stuff just so for two things. One, so I talk about work less. Because I'd like to be on Verilix levels of privacy at some point about my work. But I share, I overshare too much. And I definitely obtained that from my parents when I was a child. Specifically my mother. Whom loved to overshare fucking everything. You tell her a secret and then only her? Her two, her uh, fr seven, her six sisters, her brother, uh, their aunts and uncles, their friends, and everyone within the Wisconsin area fucking knew about your secret. Very well kept secret by a bunch of people who don't know how to keep their fucking mouth shut. And I definitely inherited that from my mom because that's how she talked to people and that's how she gossiped. And then, yeah, I'm trying to overcome that. I do not want to be a replica of my mother. <laughs> Oops, that's the wrong way. All right, this is the other map. <clears throat> I got both maps pretty evenly right now. Two and one, one and two. I mean, when you're going for three, it's not hard to be even. For three. I'm learning the enemy spawns way, way more now. Way, way better, too. Honestly, if I was still doing speedruns, this is kind of what I'd want uh, out of a episode 2 speedrun. Now that I know the area is so much, everything's a lot less scary now that I know the pathing. And I know how to not die. This... No, this is right. This is right on this map. I just said I know the pathing, and then I forgot this map layout for a sec. How embarrassing. I know, Sunini. This room just feels wrong. Like, this feels like it shouldn't be the room you go into. I don't know where the sun is going to jump from. There you are. The problem is just oh, the fucking robots confusing you. I don't 
understand why this has two waves in it specifically. And then it's like two separate rooms too in the hallway. I consider this a door frame, because it really is. It honestly looks like something that's out of Metroid. Oh, behind me. You actually have to stay relatively full health, otherwise you die. Breaks general uh, thing uh, AI pretty hard, so if you're standing specifically on a ramp, you can just cheese the fuck out of them. That's the kind of shit I need to know. Alright. I don't need to go down there to spawn him. He spawns automatically. There he is. <laughs> the magic bullet. I'll shred him. Blend them. Make a pretty good smoothie out of them. Switch weapons. Normal normal special special. <laughs> and then it's just like, oh, he's not dead yet. I wonder why. And then I start shooting and then the magic bullets just appear out of thin air. And murder, tenderize him. Murderize him. Or tenderize him. Camera does not work right. Well, it doesn't work great. Ooh, mono grind. There aren't nearly as many squids in this game as as I thought. <clears throat> that fuck it, whatever. Stop trying to play it safe. Those don't kill me unless I'm at low health, in which case I'll probably die to them eventually if I keep doing that. I'd rather not take the damage in the first place. I don't need to kill these, do I? Or are these guys the ones that open the door? Ty goes to the goddamn player! That shouldn't hurt me. That thing exploded the exact same moment I killed him. That should cause no damage. Psychological or otherwise. Bullshit. You wanna be scarred for life? That's how you get scarred for life. because those burns don't heal very well. Grant's 23. Oh, granted, it's just a light spell. here. 
So sound like squids. Oh wow, I actually almost dodged them unintentionally. So much easier than the other layout start room. The other layout start room comes up with like six fucking Morphos. I also managed to dodge these just fine, even though I wasn't even paying attention. guys, which is even better. Ah, these guys are traps, I meant. Oh. Get run over by a dough lighter. Oh. You're not on cue, dude. Alright, dude. Ramp, bug, Sinel. to hell. Or at least he's been there and back. There, thank you. Finally. Did rude. Yeah, honestly, damage is probably just better than trying to hell everything to death. Okay, my ear is ringing all of a sudden. What the hell? Do I have tinnitus? Is that why my ear is ringing so often? Like, this isn't the first time it happens. It usually happens... Well, I don't know when it usually happens, but it does happen often. And I don't like listen to loud music. I don't work in a loud environment. <clears throat> why do my ear always ring? Why do earring? Why do earring when you can get fingering? <laughs> Ow. Oh, can I really not get through here? Wow. I didn't expect that to actually block you. This map has a significant lack of Morphos compared to the other map, which has them in, like, basically every room. Is this map gonna have them now that I just said something? No? No, it is. 
It hasn't yet. Jump, the other one goes pump, and then I go one. Haha, <laughs> I'm invincible. You can't touch me. Na -na 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 -na. No, that's cheating, Sino. You can't hit me. I'm standing in the invincible spot. The floor is lava. You lose. I seriously, it won't target anything besides the Rico box when I try to shoot things, and now it won't even lock onto the Rico box. Alright, that's one, two. What are the other ones? Drop, drop, motherfucker! Ow, he dropped me. Like I'm hot. Stop it. Jerk. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the other one? Jump. I don't see him. Wait, it was, if I, there was a Morphos in the room, would that count as turning the camera? <laughs> Wait, the trap fucking didn't break while I was in the goddamn thing? Why did it stop the trap timer? It's not supposed to stop the trap timer. What a crap timer. Jerks. They put that in like the weirdest spot. Like, okay, so are the other ones in a similar spot? Cause like this one's right here instead of like right out in front. Is the other one also like right here? No, no, it's right here. Where is it? There it is. Okay, no, that is in the right spot. Okay, that is a symmetrical spot. I was concerned because that one looks like they just like put it in a spot that it shouldn't be in. All right, let's see if I can go through this maze. such a long spawn it makes you feel like you're in the wrong spot and stretch and shoot and toe and boot it's the wrong way all right so zelly and then right yeah i haven't gotten this map all that often for some reason like this this is a lower map, it's just never here. This is where I lost a race against uh, Frozer once, once upon a time. We were doing it both difficulty, or both episode run. And I was like 12 minutes ahead after episode 1. Just because of my great map luck and my great gameplay. And then episode 2, we got into uh, Seabed at the... I was in Seabed uh, lower when he got into Seabed upper. He beat me by five minutes. <laughs> My lack of knowledge on these maps, and this map specifically hurt me horribly. Like this. That just leads to a button that you push that turns off poison. This is the right direction. I remember this. And traps. And then, yeah, platform pass. There's, I, okay, so they have like real good indicators when you're going the right direction. Like that pillar, this is always gonna be the right direction. 
If they had made more than just two maps, you'd get to see them more often. You don't. Bye! And then these, this room specific- oh, no, fuck. That is the squid. There we go. This map specifically, you always go south, east. So bottom right, always. I didn't know that until, like, three days ago. I was just, uh, went the wrong way. But, like, and both layouts, this map is- this, this map- this room is identical, uh, in the doors. You always go bottom right. I wonder if it was designed intentionally like that, or if they just ran out of time. Turn the lights on. Oh wait, the door doesn't even have a freaking light on it. Wow. You can't even see the lights. So as long as I don't fuck up here. That should be good. Should be safe here. Yep. As long as I also don't stand way too close to the ledge. Do I even need to kill those guys? Thank you, Soniti. Honestly surprised that that guy didn't die. Considering I missed all nine of my uh, demon procs. I didn't see that I missed them all. I couldn't see that I missed them all. Can't see. I'm blind. Raygun. Bad Vulcan. Bad Club. Mono Fluid. The Monoist of Fluids. The 428. Keeping that for a later date. <clears throat> All right, and that's, uh, wow. I got 10 minutes to beat this boss. I should go slow and enjoy it. That's not what I meant to use. <laughs> did I already use the monofluid? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I meant to keep that grinder. I could use the, eh, fuck it, let's use the monogrinder. I don't care about monogrinder so much. I prefer dies and tries, honestly. All grinders help, of course, especially when I need them to like max out a certain weapon. So I should be keeping them, but I have a ton right now. Hello, Yuri. Thank you for catching the butt end of the stream. doing this. I'm glad I have the ass for this. If I didn't have the ass, this might actually be a bit more difficult. I'd have to use actual rifle. I'd have to use that hell laser I have, because I wouldn't be able to use the Snow Queen effectively. So if I go straight forward towards that little inner ring right before the, the center, if I go to the first outer, the, the first out ring, I've, words, I'll show, you, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show all of you. I'm going to kill him right now. Stepping on me. Oh shit. Ooh, okay, no, the lasers do multi hit you if you're stacking. I didn't know that. I just kind of assumed I got lucky last time. Shoot the fucking leg. Oh my god. I literally couldn't target the foot because its hitbox is so obscure at that angle. 
I lost a skate to this shit. I hope you're happy. I am happy. Thank you for asking. If I got in the right spot, I should at least be closer to the sword. Oh my god, I'm two steps to the left! I need to go two steps left. Right here. Right freaking here. Where it is. I was so close. Okay, so it's not dead center where I normally go. It's... I want that to falter my character, because... I just think it'd be funny. Also, tell about... Alright, so I'm three for three today. I fought him three times, I got items three times. So, the 70% is looking up. But still, the very, very weird coincidental thing where I did 12 hunts, and all 12 hunts yielded me zero items. Oh, you know, I just thought about what it could be. It could be just the fact that uh, when I was doing the hunt before, I was doing the uh, hunt with... Uh, so I had the false code and the Olga flow code at the same time. Maybe that affected it, because we know the Olga flow code affects the any drop rate modifiers. But maybe the false code overwrites that. Maybe the false code overwrites the Olga code. I got time for the credits. You guys gonna watch the credits? You guys get to watch the credits. I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna go start baking lunch, I guess. I mean, I have spaghetti made, but I wanna eat something else for lunch, too. You know, I do gotta say, uh, Rico and uh, Flowin, like, they got unique models, for sure. Unique haircuts as well. And what the hell is wrong with Rico's wrists? They're, like, completely cut off. She's 
they're almost detached, it looks like, with her with her sleeves. <laughs> I was just looking at like the haircut. Like the, the face model for Floen and then the like, the hair models for both of them. You don't get to see them on your characters. I mean, obviously, if you saw them on a Humar and a and a Fomarl slash Hunuarl, you would never take them off, because those are just fucking fire. Or at least they used to be, until they were absorbed into the eternal nothingness that is falls. How profound. Well, that's all I had time for. I gotta get ready for work. I mean, I'm perfect. I'm already prepared. I am already getting prepared to eat my lunch before I head off to the place that I desire to not to be. I hope you all can understand. Thank you for watching. I will return again sometime in the future. So until then, take care and toddles. <laughs>